Now what is the algorithm to find out the equation of a plane? The equation of plane has to be followed certain procedure in order to solve the questions. So the algorithm that you have to follow will be somewhat like this. What I'll do is I'll assume the general equation of a plane to be ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0. This we already know. Now if this is the general equation of a plane and I know that three points are given to me, the first point being x1, y1, z1, the second point being x2, y2, z2 and the third point being x3, y3, z3. So these are the three points. What I do is I'll step by step take these points and then find out the equation of a plane because these points lie on a plane. So they will satisfy the equation. So the first point when I put it what is the equation a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 plus d is equal to 0 is the equation when first point is being satisfied. Now similarly these both points also lie on the plane. So the rest of the equation would be a into x2 minus x1 plus b into y2 minus y1 plus c into z2 minus z1 is equal to 0. And this you have to take care that here it will not be plus d. Plus d will only be in the general form of the equation. So here also it will be directly equal to 0. Similarly, the third point is being satisfied. So it is a into x3 minus x1 plus b into y3 minus y1 plus c into z3 minus z1 is equal to 0. So these are the rest of the equations that we have formed. Now what we are going to do is we are going to name these equations as 1, equation number 2 as equation number 3 also. Now the next step is you have to solve the equation number 2 and 3 and then by cross multiplication you are going to solve. So A, B, C will be eliminated. So solve them by cross multiplication. So A, B, C will be eliminated. Now when you solve by cross multiplication, what will happen? These will get eliminated and whatever values, whatever values you obtain, you are going to just put them in the equation number 1. When you put them in equation number 1, you will get the required equation of a plane. So either follow this method, but this becomes very tedious and very lengthy. So what we are going to do? In that circumstance, we will not follow this method but adopt a very direct technique because even when you eliminate A, B, C by cross multiplication, the resultant will be the same that is obtained by solving this determinant which I am going to write now. So it says x minus x1, x2 minus x1, x3 minus x1, y minus y1, y2 minus y1, y3 minus y1, z minus z1, z2 minus z1, z3 minus z1 and that is equal to 0. So if you solve this determinant again you are going to get the same value as you solve the whole by this method. So better go by the determinants method because that is what we have studied in the recent class 12th only and that is very easy. There is no funda of equations, there is no thing that there is nothing that has to be again repeated as a step. 